Okay, today I want to introduce you to our small hopper series. And in this series, we have a seven liter hopper and a two liter hopper. You might wonder why we rate them in liters because powder has specific gravities that range from one to 2.6. And specific gravity relates to how many pounds can fit in a certain amount of volume, a number of liters or cubic feet. So while this might hold five pounds of a 1.0 specific gravity powder, it could also hold 10 pounds of a 2.5 specific gravity powder. So we rate them in liters rather than, uh, rather than pounds capacity. In general, a rule of thumb would be a seven liter you could get, on average powder you could get five pounds in that. A two liter hopper, on average powder you could get probably close to two pounds in it. But again, these are small volume hoppers. So what we have here is the, the hopper lids. We have our injector connection points. This is your hopper vent. If you don't vent your hopper, the hopper pressurizes and then it becomes just like a paint pot in the liquid world. The pressurized paint pot pushes liquid paint out. If this hopper doesn't vent, now it becomes pressurized and it's what sends powder out, not the gun and the controller itself. So we always want to have the vent open and clear. If it becomes a problem, you can put a, a small piece of 10 millimeter tubing into your booth or into your exhaust system. Again, so these are the lids. This is the pickup tube. Pickup tube is designed to sit about an inch and a half from the bottom of the hopper. Uh, that gives you enough uh, depth for pickup, picking up powder. If you look down here, this is your fluidizing air. You're gonna connect up your airline from your regulator from, for fluidizing to right here. This is a needle valve. This allows you, once you have your air pressure set, this allows you to observe your powder in the hopper and make an air adjustment to get just the right amount of fluidization. Again, the right amount of fluidization is a very gentle surface with small little bubbles coming up. If you don't have enough fluidization air, you see a surface that looks very solid. It doesn't move. It doesn't look like jello. It doesn't move at all. If you've got too much uh, air fluidization, you're going to get a rambling boil, and that's too much air. Too much or too little are bad. You want to have just a nice gentle ripple on the surface with air bubbles coming out. That's proper fluidization. We give you this uh, needle valve to make that adjustment. Again, when you order your hoppers, you can order it with a Parker Ionics uh, pump mount, or you can order it with a Universal pump mount. This Universal takes most major manufacturers' injectors, either a, a female connection that fits over the outside, or a male connection that fits on the inside. So again, Universal lids, lids designed specifically for Parker Ionics. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do when you're using a hopper for powder coating is you're going to want to hook up a ground wire to the hopper itself. We recommend you come right on to the, to the clamp here, connect it up. The other end should either be to an electric ground or an earth ground. Um, again, that's very important that you keep your hoppers grounded. Otherwise, you could build up a, a charge inside the hopper that would not be good. Okay, so we're going to go through the key elements and maintenance on, on our small hoppers. Again, the lid comes off. This is your pickup tube. This is a replaceable item. It comes out like this. It's held in with an O-ring on the inside. That's your pickup tube and your lid. It's nice and heavy so it doesn't come floating off on you. The next section we're going to do is we're going to take the clamps off. We're going to pull off. This is your main hopper wall. It's aluminum powder coated. Down inside here, you're going to find your gasket ring. Only use original spare parts on this. It's really critical. It's what helps set up the seal so you don't have powder leaking. And then down inside, we have a fluid tile. This is a, a looks like a simple little piece of white plastic, but believe it or not, it's got millions of tiny holes in it. Okay. And when we put air pressure on the hopper itself into the lower section here. This is called the plenum section. When we pressurize the plenum section, air goes up through all these millions of holes and that's what causes the powder to levitate. This is a part that's a replaceable part. If you see staining from your powder on the one side, no worries. If you look on the bottom side, 
and you see any staining at all, whether it's gonna be gray, could be rusty color, that's bad. That means you've got oil or water in your compressed air. And oil or water getting into all these millions of pores in this fluid tile causes it to black up. Once water or oil goes into those small holes, they never come out. At that point, you're gonna place an order and replace your fluid tile. Because if we don't have airflow coming up or if we have ununiform or non-uniform air flowing up, we get non-uniform fluidization. So again, part of the cleaning process is disassembling the hopper, blowing everything off. Always leave the same side up and the same side down for this. And again, you're looking on the bottom side. If you see any staining on the bottom side, it's probably gonna be gray or, or rust colored. Uh, that's bad and it's time to replace the, the fluid tile. So now we put our fluid tile in, we put our gasket back in, we put our hopper body on, we bring our clamps up, clamp down, put our lid back on, remount our injector and we're ready to powder coat. Now, if you have leakage, if you see any leakage down here, it means that your clamps have, have lost their adjustment. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull it off and you can adjust the tension on the gasket by, by closing this or opening this. So what you're gonna do, they're factory set to provide a good seal. Over time, things may change. Over time, cleaning this, this may be moved or, or, or opened, giving you less clamping force. What you're gonna do is simply close it down to get more clamping force and make sure it seals down good and hard onto the, onto the gasket. We appreciate your business. I'm sure you're gonna get lots of good years of use out of these small hoppers, and we're real proud of our product. Thank you very much.